winners, over a million dollars in prize money, and another championship in 2018, Astralis ECS Season 6 Champions! Texas Arlington, give it up for Astralis! <laughs> Lucas, what's going through your head right now, my friend? Oh my god, that was such an intense game. I don't think I ever have played such an intense game before. I felt like we could lose this so many times, but still we managed to get back into the game and then just grind our way through, and in the end we are lifting the trophy. It's amazing. We spoke about it earlier in the tournament. You guys just have this ability to hold on. Can you just give some more details on that? It seems like such a special Astralis quality. Yeah, it's something that we have been working on a lot because we doesn't feel like we have been playing our best lately. So we have been trying to talk about what we can do. And it's something like taking more Ecos, uh, having more grenades when we play, and just grind our way back to the, through the game. Even though they are 15, we know we can do the comeback. Going back to Inferno, moving to individual plays, it seems that you guys, at any point, each one of you can step up. It was a round that you lost, but Zipex managed to hold B solo, got four kills at different moments. You were all showing on the server. Inferno, how did you make it happen? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was such a crazy game. I don't really remember Inferno right now. I'm only thinking about the win and overpass. So uh, I don't remember what happened exactly, but I remember Sipnix had some amazing rounds, device as well in the side. So yeah, just well played by us. And then coming back to Inferno, that was such a quality game of Counter-Strike. How did you manage to keep yourselves in the game and take each round as if it was a fresh start? Overpass was really tough. I mean, uh, I think they played so, so pretty well. Um, they did some executes that we have been doing in the past and we, we actually didn't really know how to counter it. And also I think their play style is just, it's really hard to anti-strat them, first of all. It's like they're playing kind of randomly, but still they're having a lot of uh, structure, but it's, it's not in the same way that we use it. So it feels like Fallen is on point right now. He's doing a lot of good calls. It feels like the team play is, is really good. Um, so yeah, that was intense game. I'm so happy we got it. A few other questions with regards to the second map. Tarek was a bit of a nuisance. He was playing fantastically. That one versus four, could you have won it against him? Uh, first of all, for the first one, that was my mistake. Then one more guy peaked, it was his mistake, and then it's just a one versus two, and yeah, that's, that's when it gets easy to win, right? Because he knew where the device was, and, and Sipnix was having a hard time killing him in bank. So uh, it was a great one versus four by him, and, and there's not much to say that we should maybe not have peaked that much. And another one of your team's qualities seems to be adjusting and adapting on the fly. It seemed in the late T rounds for your team, you started executing quite late. And that was a swing in momentum and you managed to make that work really well. Is that something that you agree with and, and notice in your team? Like, I think I remember like five times, uh, five rounds where we are on A side. We haven't planned the bomb yet, and I'm seeing the clock. It's eight seconds, and it's counting down. We don't even know where the bomb is, but still we managed to plan sometimes. I don't understand it. It's like, it's like looking back at the old Mibar, uh, when they did these lakes executes all the time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for showing us that. 
old MIBR, old Navi. Lucas, final questions now. 2018 has been such a crazy year for you and your team. You still have a couple more tournaments to go, but at this point, how satisfied are you with the team's growth over this year? I'm really satisfied. Uh, I couldn't be more satisfied. Of course, we have an important tournament next week as well, and we're looking forward to playing that. Now it's all about resting and getting ready for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm extremely satisfied. It, I could not hope for a better year when, I, when we started in 2018. Well, sir, I will leave the final words with you if you'd like to address the crowd. The many people watching at home, friends and family, go ahead. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, it has been a pleasure playing in front of all you guys. I'm really happy that, that we showed you a great final here. Uh, I know some of the Europeans, some of the Danish guys are still probably sleeping now. I hope you will have a good time when you wake up and see the, see the result. Ladies and gentlemen, your ECS Season 6 Finals Champions are Astralis! Yeah.